I think the key here and the key to a lot of the stuff that we've been covering is about accepting your own ADHD traits and realizing that that lens that we've had, that negative lens over many, many years has, and probably the, very reasonably affected our self-esteem and why we attribute all these factors to ourselves. And it's understandable, of course, you weren't diagnosed for decades. Of course, you're gonna have that negative view of yourself, but it's time to change. It's time to tell a new story. It's, it's time to stop this shame and this guilt and thinking people don't like you or that everything is your fault because you are a really good person and you are trying your best. You are doing your best and you're working hard to grow and change. So this is really, really important. It's about accepting your ADHD, auditing your thoughts or catching your thoughts as I did this morning. And you know what? I wouldn't have done that with smashing that mug had I not been aware this week. And it's part of our tasks for this week and our focus for this week is to catch yourself with negative thinking. And I would have really beat up on myself and gone, oh, you're so clumsy. Oh, why are you so clumsy? Oh, you always did this. And then think back to all the other clumsy times and I've broken something or smashed something. Look, a broken mug. Yeah, you know, we do that as people with ADHD. It's, it's no biggie. You're not a bad, bad person.